Java tutorial for beginners. So far we have seen the basics of writing a Java program from operators to variable names to the syntax of how a Java program should look like. Now moving on that is not enough for writing a complete program. What you also need is how to write conditional statements as well as iterative statements. So how to write if else conditions, switch case, while loops and for loops. So from now for the next few videos we'll take a look at exactly that. So let's jump right in. In today's video we're talking about if else. So I'll just first show you the basic syntax of if else and else if and nested conditional statements and then we'll move on to taking a quick look at how do we write a program. So this is the basic syntax for an if statement and it's used for condition checking. So let's say if you want to do something for a person whose age is greater than 50. So you can put the condition age greater than 50 in the condition braces as shown and then inside the curly braces statement 1 to n you can do whatever you choose to do for whenever your age goes greater than 50. So this if construct is used to check a condition and then execute a set of statements if that condition comes out to be true. Alright, so this is a very basic if statement. Now if you want also to do something for age less than 50, then what you can do is write an else statement just after this if finishes. So if age greater than 50, do statement 1 and statement 2 else do statement 3 and 4. So that looks something like this. This is if else. So if condition is checked, if that condition is not meant, the condition turns out to be false, we move on to the else statements. Execute the else statements and then continue with the rest of the program. Now this is just for the case where there is one condition to be checked. So for example, the example we took age greater than or less than 50. Now there are multiple conditions to be tested like if age is greater than 60 do this else if age is between 50 to 60 do some other set of steps else if age is something to something do this. So when there are multiple conditions like this we use else if construct as shown in the slides further. But before I go into that I would want to show you the statement flow for easier explanation. So let's say your program proceeds from the top. So your program has a few statements here above and after that you check this particular condition for any condition that you want to test. Now if the condition is true you move on to the if code. Execute the if code and the else code is left untouched. But the condition, if it turns out to be false, you straight ahead go to the else code and then continue with the rest of the program. So this is a very basic flow of if else statements. Now moving on to the if else if construct that I talked about that is chained conditionals. It looks like what you can see on the screen now. So there in the if you have condition one. If it is met, you execute the if statements. If it is not met, you check else if for condition 2. Now an if statement can have one and only one else but an if can have multiple else if conditions. So this else if can come repetitive times with different different conditions and the program is executed in the same manner as the else if are written. So your first else if will be checked first then next then next. As soon as a match is found will execute those piece of code and then exit. Similarly, we have nested conditionals. So let's say in the example as shown on the screen, if x is equals to 0, you say x is 0. Just system.out.println x is 0. Else, if x is greater than 0, you say x is positive or else again, you say x is negative. So right here what you can see is this if else is the main right here this if and this else 
Now the other this if else is nested inside the else of your first if else. Okay. So like this you can nest your if else as well depending on what particular conditions is that that you have to test. Now moving on let me quickly write a very small piece of code to explain you how this translates into coding. So as you see here I have created a sample class called loops and inside this let's just create an integer variable that will hold the age. Let's say initialize it to 60. Now if you want to print the age or do some logic conditional logic based on this age all you have to do is if braces and then inside give your conditions like if age is greater than 90 and then again curly braces so now inside these curly braces whatever comes will be executed if the age goes greater than 90 so let's say so, so. your age is greater than 90 a very simple system dot out statement I'm writing here you can do some set of instructions also depending on the program all right now let's say else if age is greater than 50 and age is less than 90 so when the age is between 50 to 90 what do we have to do so you see here right here we have used and logical operator to combine two conditions that we have to check in this else if statement so when this else if executes you say your age is between 50 and 90 all right fairly simple now finally if the condition doesn't even fall in 50 to 90 we just go ahead and simply finish this off with an else statement so else if the age is neither greater than 90 nor between 50 and 90 you just say then 50 years of age all right fairly simple so since we have initialized our age here to 60 we should enter into this else if and our output should be your age between 50 and 90 so let's save the program and run it so right your age is between 50 and 90 so this if else and nested ifs and all those if else constructs are used for testing these conditions through the course of your program whenever you need for a check of a condition thank you for watching guys and in the next video i'll talk about switch statements so stay tuned and if you have any doubts and queries please do drop a comment below and we'll try to take them up in our upcoming videos happy coding